Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. 2 Corinthians 9, verses 10 and 11. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Are you a generous person? Do you skip the tip at the restaurant since your server is already being paid an hourly wage? Or does your restaurant tip start at 18% and go up from there? In a conversation, do you give equal time to the person you're talking with or do you grab all the time for yourself? When you're having a bad day, are you still generous enough to pay attention to other people? Or does it all have to be about you? Today's scripture is part of an inspired letter from the Apostle Paul to the people of Corinth. In this portion of the letter, he is encouraging them to gather a generous gift to give to their brothers and sisters in Jerusalem who are experiencing a famine. But his encouragement toward generosity is really for all of us. As part of his encouragement, Paul talks about how we will be made rich in every way. Do you feel rich in every way? Haven't there been times when maybe you didn't feel rich in even one way? Maybe you saw a beautiful gift that God gave someone else and you felt neglected and poor. Maybe you were suffering and sad about your life in general and you wondered why the blessings had all dried up. You and I have complained enough times about our lot in life to know that we don't always feel like we are rich in every way. It's not that God is stingy with his blessings. It's the blindness of our sinful nature that prevents us from seeing them. So for example, we may get so caught up with our inability to control some hardship in our life that we completely blind ourselves to the blessing of having people close to us who love us. That's not okay, that's the opposite of okay. We need to take to heart just how rotten our sinful nature is that we can completely ignore a blessing from God, even when it's staring us in the face. But listen again to the promise of today's scripture. We're told that the same Lord God who plants seeds so that we have all that we need will also enlarge the harvest of our righteousness. It is astounding that God would be able to do anything with us at all. It would be remarkable because he's perfectly holy and we sinners don't deserve a place anywhere near him. But that he is able to enlarge our harvest of righteousness so that others benefit too. We have to just stand in awe. There's only one way to explain this kind of connection between us and God. It's all Jesus. Jesus chose to suffer and bleed and die because of your sin and mine, and he did. He took it away, all of it, so that you are holy in God's eyes. So am I, now in him, through him, and only because of Jesus. Not only are you and I connected to our holy God, but he enlarges his gift of righteousness to us so that we may also be a true benefit for others. Are you a generous person? The answer to the question for you and every believer who has ever lived is a resounding yes, but it's not a character trait you can claim credit for. You stand cleansed in the blood of Jesus, and now every good thing you do has the shine of Christ's holiness on it. You are a generous, generous person because God says you are. And because God has said so, you remain a generous person. Even when your restaurant service is subpar, or when the person you're talking to wants all the attention, or when you've had a bad day. No matter the opportunity for generosity, you're set. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. He has made you rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. See you next time.